All right, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to design your own grip tape. So, the way that I design my own grip tape is I basically just use paint markers and spray paint, and sometimes I cut it up. These are the three ways of customizing grip tape. You can either paint, cut, or draw. And today, I'm just gonna be painting, I'm just gonna be painting and drawing. I'm not gonna be cutting anything out because I don't even know where the script tape is gonna go yet, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, so I usually don't cut anything unless I know what I'm gonna put it on first. So, for now, I'm gonna leave this as an option for you guys. So suppose, like, cutting is always an option, and what you could do with cutting, suppose you don't like this white logo, and you don't like the red one, and you want it to be the color of your deck, all you'd have to do is just get your razor blade, cut out the logo, slap it on your deck, and you have the color of your deck on your grip tape. So that's that's one way. I'm not gonna do it today, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. What I am gonna do is I am gonna draw and I am going to paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw. Now, when you're drawing on grip tape, the best thing you can use is oil-based paint markers. You know they're oil because they have this little pink stripe around the end. Here, I'll show you on a different colored pen that's not pink. It has a little pink stripe around it and it says oil-based. You need to get these, these work the best. Don't get these, just like these huge Sharpies. These won't really do anything. I know these look like the same color, but this one's oil-based, this one's just like ink-based, and this one will show up on grip tape, and this one will just be a really kind of dark, transparent blue. So you don't really want that. I'm gonna put those two to the side, and I'm just gonna be using my oil-based paint markers. Another, paint, another type of marker you can use is a silver Sharpie. These work really, really nice. I know I just said not to use ink-based, but these turn out really, really nice on grip tape. So if you need any silver, this is the way to go. Just a basic silver Sharpie. The reason that they're good is these are designed to write on black stuff on darker surfaces. So when you draw on grip tape, it looks nice. So that's, you definitely want this. If you want to get the oil-based version, go for it. I don't, I think it'd be a little bit better, but yeah, this works just fine. You're probably asking yourself, well, I've never seen these pens in my life. Well, it's okay because you can get these pens at pretty much any craft store. I bought mine at Michael's. It's a, in the United States, it's a arts and craft store and they, yeah, I just bought them there. Something that you guys, if you guys live in the United States, I know this, you're gonna have to be 18 or older to buy these because these are very, 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 very common for graffiti. So they don't want any delinquents like you guys going out and tagging the streets. So you'll need to bring your parent with you or your guardian or your big brother or sister, aunt, uncle, Basically what I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna be explaining it to you guys. So I really enjoy the Scooter Farm logo and basically what I'm gonna do for the start of it is I'm gonna trace around the, the uh, outline of this with a few different colors so it makes a nice striped look. And then once I get the stripes down and it looks really nice with the markers, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna do a little bit of splatter paint with this color and a few other colors. So it's gonna be a mix between paint markers and spray paint and it's gonna turn out super sick. So yeah, can't wait to see what you guys think of it. When using paint markers, they're just like spray paint cans. They have a little marble inside that shakes things up. So you gotta shake it up, and to activate it, you literally just press down. Here, I'm gonna do it at the bottom. You literally just press down, and then ink will start flowing through the felt tip. So it's you just gotta like press it down in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with the pink. So I got the first part of his eye done. I'm just gonna trace the rest of it so it'll look nice and sick. All right, so I got the first outline done and now I'm just gonna start doing other colors on it and once I'm done with the paint markers, we'll get ready to spray paint. So stoked to see how it turns out. There's the outline that I did with the paint markers. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more paint marker madness down here, and then I'm gonna spray paint it. So, and just to clarify, you don't need only Scooter Farm grip tape to draw on. You can draw on any kind of grip tape, except Hello Grip Formula G. That'll ruin your pens. You can spray paint on it, but just I wouldn't recommend 
super gritty grip tape, don't don't draw on that, or else you'll just wreck your pens. So you can paint on it, but not draw or cut. You can cut it too. All right, so this is what I've gotten done so far with the coloring of the drawing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the spray paint and spray paint a little bit. So I'll see you outside. So now I'm going to do the spray paint. Right now I have a, it's like this color, it's like a blue. The other color I have is this pink. The other color I have is this darker blue. And the last color is yellow. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint in the cap and then flick it onto the, the paint. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint, like just directly spray paint a little bit of it. So I'm gonna get to it. So now that I have this kind of covered up and looks looks all nice, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint this in the cap. And now I have liquid paint. Basically all I'm gonna do is just The most important thing about grip tape is that it's probably not gonna turn out exactly how you plan to have it turned out. Like so far, I have no idea how this grip tape is gonna look at the end. But that's the whole fun of it, is because if you make something dope and you didn't think it was gonna be dope in the beginning, but it turns out dope, it's it's an accomplishing feeling. So yeah, I'm just keep, I'm just gonna keep going. Why not? Now, next I'm gonna spray blue into the cap. Oh yeah, so there's no correct way on how to paint your grip tape and draw it. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. So that way when you guys do your own project, you have something to base it around. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Right now, I'm just gonna put the cap on here. Okay, before you guys say, well, you're ruining this cap. It's literally just a cap that will fit on any spray paint can. It's just the colored pink, but this doesn't even matter if it turns into a different color because I know what color the spray paint is by the can. So this doesn't affect the paint at all. But anyway, I'm just gonna start doing some random stuff and hopefully it turns out sick. Alright, cool. right, so the grip tape's looking pretty cool so far. Um, I'm gonna let this dry tonight, and in the morning, I'm gonna go in with a pen and do some detailing and make the Scooter Farm logo pop out once again because it's kind of overlaid with paint. So, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Alright, so what's up, guys? So, I got my grip tape, and it looks pretty cool. Now, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over it and do a little bit more drawing and then it'll be complete. So yeah, so to see how it turns out. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outline the original outline again, but with like a brighter color. I'm gonna use just this pink, but it's gonna be a little bit brighter now that it's not covered in other splatter paint. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so what's up guys? So I just finished up the grip tape. Here it is. It says I'm dialed down here in kind of these crazy letters. Then you go more up and it's just kind of this like crazy designs into the Scooter Farm logo up until like the splatter paint. So I think it turned out really, really cool. Back that's kind of messed up, but oh well. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment uh, and like it and subscribe. 
If you guys um, do your own grip tape, make sure to tag us on Instagram, tag me at White Trash Willie, and tag Undialed at Undialed TV. Tag <laughs> Sneeze at Sneeze TV, and tag on Clayton. I mean, just tag Clayton <laughs> at Clayton Lindley. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think this grip tape turned out super sick. What do you guys think I should do with this grip tape? Should I give it away? Should I put it on my scooter? Should I wrinkle burn it? it? Should I burn it? Should I put it in the swimming pool? What should I do with it? Should I just slap it on some car somewhere? I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys decide. Catch you guys later. Peace out.